This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570EX calculator to solve the inverse normal type of questions here in the topics of probability distributions. Alright, so let's say uh, you have the example like this. They say something that probability z is less than k equals to 0 0.8643. Okay, this kind of example is like it doesn't give you the exact value, but they give you the probability, which is area of the bell shaped diagram. And then they ask you to find the K. Alright, because normally if you own the old version of the Casio calculator, there's no way you can do this kind of questions. But if you have the latest one, which is the Casio 570 OEX class with, you can easily solve this one. But before I teach you how to solve this kind of question, you kind of need to understand what is the uh, calculator preset preset setting first okay so first thing is this calculator right in order to use this function they preset ready for probability z must be less than a and then will equal to the x x will be the probability or the area of the bell shaped diagram or sometimes it can be probability z is less than equals to a equals to x so what i try to tell you here is in this topic uh, less than and less than and equal both are the same okay both are the same so in this topic you don't need to worry about uh, have the equal sign or no equal sign here but something you must pay attention is this sign must be always be less than or less than or equal all right so if you understand this concept right so you also need to understand in the bell shape diagram so let's say uh, my a value not necessarily must at the negative side here uh, my a value can be here okay and i think you need to pay attention if if this is a z value that means this horizontal axis is a z axis all right this one will be z axis but it's not necessary or it will be z axis all the time sometimes it can be x axis so when you do that time you must pay attention at it so if this is a z axis which is the standard score when a value is here so you want to find a value example so if you use this calculator right so you kind of need to know what is this area that means from a it must be less than a then only you can use this calculator okay so i will use few example here to make you fully understand about this all right so okay so when i start to do the first questions here but really z is less than k because this sign is less than then i can straight away use the calculator without need to change uh, many things here okay so from here i will go into the menu and then i go for a seven which is normal distribution uh which is distribution so i can show you one more time which is you go to the menu and you go for the seven you look for the distribution or you just type seven in your calculator which is a faster way here and then over here you you will see number three inverse normal here okay when you use inverse normal like what i say you have the probability and you want to find the exact value you can use inverse normal which is number three here okay because here they will ask about area like what i say because in this topic probability means the area of the bell shape diagram this is the reason why they they doesn't write probability here they write area so i know my area is 0 0.6 643 which is my probability value here or my x value here and then okay if this is a z axis and this value is a z value then preset ready the standard deviation is one means will be zero because this is the uh this is the basic for the standard normal distributions so you kind of need to remember standard deviation will be always one and means will be always zero Okay, you will change both of these value unless you are given something like probability x must be less than k. Then you kind of need to know what is your standard deviation and mean. I will show you this example later. But here we focus on z first. So remember, whenever you see z, the standard deviation is 1, mean will be 0. Your area here will be 0 0.8643. Then I just type equal. I just type equal again. Then I can know my k value here. My k value here is just 1.0998. A. Okay, I can easily get my k value here. Okay, let's go into the second example here. Okay, this is what happened if you have the x value. Like just now we have the z value, right? So let's say 
you have a parameter like this that tell you, okay, for x, right, the normal distribution, the first number here will be your mean. The second number here, 15 square, this one will be your variance. So over here, because I need to know my standard deviation, standard deviation, which is this sign, will be just 15 because it's just square root of the variance. Okay, because this parameter preset already, first one will be mean, second one will be variance. Okay, if you understand this one, second thing is, before you want to like use okay in this case i shouldn't give you this value maybe i want to find this value okay and then i tell just tell you okay maybe is 0 0.5 well 58 just a random number i make up myself all right so okay right now if i want to find a k value because the k value here is the x value okay it's not the z value because this one starts with x right so what i can do right now is yeah, I go into the distribution, I go for number three, inverse normal. Then right now, my area is 0 0.58, 0 0.58. Why I know it's 0 0.58? Because this sign is less than. If this sign is bigger, like later, you kind of need to change the area value here, but I will explain later. Okay, so right now, my standard deviation will be 15. It's no longer one because I want to find X value. It's not Z value anymore, so it's 15. My mean here will be 300. Okay, then I type equal. Then I can easily know my K value here is 303.03. Okay, this is how I can get my X value by just changing my standard deviation and means here. Okay, so yeah, you, you want to know this value is correct or wrong. Actually, there's another way you can you, you, you can kind of prove this one because if I change this one into the Z value you can see this is what happens so if Z is bigger than uh, less than the K let's say K is this value isn't it so it's 303.03 .03. change into the Z we need to minus mean over standard deviation isn't it so let's do this one uh, real quick just to check our answer is correct or wrong 303 point zero three minus three hundred and then I will divide it by fifty and then I kind of will get some our value here which is Z is less than zero point two o two here. Okay so if I draw out the bell shape diagram like this yeah this one will be this is what I'm having here which is this area but because I have this calculator I can just check this value within it i go to the distribution and then this one i will go to the normal cd okay which is number two and then okay so here my lowest will be negative infinity which is negative 10 power of 10 okay so and then my upper bound will be just 0 0.202 okay and then my okay because right now i want to find my exact value right so my standard deviation is just one and um, my mean so just now my standard deviation will be one my mean will be zero okay because i want to find exact value and realize i can get 0 0.58 which is exactly the same value this is just another way to, to double check whether my k value here is correct or wrong but in this case it's definitely is a correct one okay so last uh okay so this is the second last question here okay what if the question give you b bigger than k like what i told you at the very beginning the calculator already preset this this one must be less than a then only you can use the calculator so if you have something like bigger than k you kind of need to change it yourself but over here i just explained to you what is the meaning of bigger than k so example so like 0 0.6 is somewhere here k will be here and then this is uh, 0 0.6 because bigger so if here is 0 0.6 it's not hard for us to find less than k isn't it because the whole bell shape diagram the probability area plus together must be one so here will be 0 0.4 so therefore i know z is less than k will be 0 0.4 so therefore, right now I change the bigger into the less than by just doing one minus this probability. Then I can find a K easily by just using the calculator again. Then I go to the distribution and go to inverse normal. And then my area right now is 0 0.4. And then 
because this is exact value so standard deviation is one means zero is just fine then i just type equal for both sides my k value is 0 0.2533 all right this is how i can get my k value easily okay last question before i end this video all right this is one of the past year questions they give you a bell shape diagram and then they ask you to find an m value so first thing is i want to check is this z value is this z exit or x exit in this case it will be z that means it's a standard score so standard score like what i say my mean will be zero my standard deviation will be one okay this one is for this one is for z uh, remember okay but right now okay i only have the part f uh the middle part here which is 0 0.1985 if i type this one into the calculator i will got some something wrong here like what i say the area given from the calculator must from certain uh z value here go to the negative infinity this is the calculator find uh this is how the calculator works yeah so what i want to do is in order to get the m value correct right because i know that there's no way the calculator can get the middle part only so what I will do is, I will need to add up this part because the calculator can only from M to the negative infinity. But this part is not hard to find, right? Because this bell shape diagram is symmetry. This part is half of it, so it's just 0 0.5. So what I, what I want to do, if I want to use the calculator, right? I will use the 0 0.5 plus this value here. So you see what I'm doing in the calculator? If I plus together, I will get 0 0.6. Eight, five isn't it so one and zero if is correct then i can easily get my m value here which is 0 0.52 okay this is something very important to understand the concept what is the preset setting for the inverse normal because a lot of students they will just type okay maybe it's 0 0.1985 if you just insert 0 0.1985 you'll get very weird answer which is your m value at the negative because here meter is zero and then negative 0 0.84 is kind of here which is not possible because the m actually at a positive z value here so you realize your answer is wrong here so whenever you want to use the inverse normal features in this calculator make sure you understand how it work before you just uh, simply insert any value you want all right that's all for this video i hope you find this video helpful to you if you are interested to get this calculator I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store. And then you click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here. You just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio mat and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like five ringgit off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye